Hello and welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at supersonic flow and the formation of shock waves. What is supersonic speed? Let's consider a moving object. If the speed of this moving object is slower than the speed of sound, then it is moving at subsonic speed. If the speed of the moving object is increased and is now moving faster than the speed of sound, then it is moving at supersonic speed. All commercial aircraft flying currently fly in the high subsonic speed range. This is because of different aerodynamic changes which happen when an aircraft accelerates to supersonic speeds. So let's look at what changes happen when an aircraft starts flying at supersonic speeds. What changes happen in supersonic speeds? To understand this, let's consider an airfoil flying at subsonic speed. The air particles in front of the leading edge of the airfoil adjust according to the shape of the airfoil. Hence the flow is smooth around the airfoil. However, at supersonic speeds, the air particles do not have sufficient time to adjust as per the airfoil's shape and start to pile up in front of the airfoil. A thin layer is formed ahead of the leading edge after which the particles start piling up. This thin layer is called as a shock wave. When does a shock wave form? As the airfoil accelerates from subsonic to supersonic speeds, a shock wave initially forms over the top surface of the airfoil. This is because the airspeed over the top surface is more than the actual speed of the airfoil. The airflow on the top surface will reach supersonic speeds earlier and a shock wave forms here. As the airfoil speed increases to supersonic speeds, this shock wave is pushed towards the trailing edge and the new shock wave forms ahead of the leading edge of the airfoil. What happens because of this shock wave? The biggest impact of the formation of shock waves in an aircraft is the significant increase in the drag. Hence more thrust is required to overcome this drag. There is an increase in the static pressure and the static temperature after the shock wave. There is a decrease in the speed of the airflow and the total pressure downstream of the shock wave which will affect the efficiency of the engine. What are the types of shock waves? There are two major types of shock waves, normal shock wave and oblique shock wave. A normal shock wave is a shock wave which is formed perpendicular to the airflow. An oblique shock wave is a shock wave which is formed at an angle to the airflow. Downstream of a normal shock wave, the flow always decelerates to subsonic speeds, resulting in more energy loss. After an oblique shockwave, the airflow decelerates but does not reduce to subsonic speeds. How to design supersonic aircraft? Because of the effects of shockwaves, there are some general design features which are used on supersonic aircraft to compensate for the increase in drag and temperature and the reduction in engine efficiency. Supersonic aircraft have thinner airfoil shapes to reduce the drag. They use stronger composite materials to withstand high temperatures and they need a redesigned engine inlet. So that's all for my video on supersonic flow and the formation of shock waves. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.